welcome back to crusader kings 3 a game of thrones today is gonna be the day when we finally usurp cast him in. but before we do that we need to go through our dungeons because we got a lot of prisoners in the last episode let's see if any of them have a sizable amount of gold i mean this guy has 10 gold i mean let's see maybe we could ransom him for more no we can't even ransom him okay so in that case you will be banished to the wall my friend uh, you have 75 gold so you're definitely going to be banished oh i love this isn't it a good money maker um we could ransom you for 10 gold let's do that uh, let's see anyone else a lot of children in the dungeons <laughs> oh these could all be ransomed as well yeah none of you guys have gold that's only a hook so i don't care about this one yeah let's get some gold flowing in here ah okay you already accepted my request right let's end this we're also in the middle of a war oh yes i forgot Right, let's seat one more castle and then this should be over, actually. Greetings, Lord Athos of Tarish. I have no choice but to accept your conditions. Farewell, my friend. Enjoy the night's watch. I hear it is chilly in the north. And in fact, we just won the war. Uh, Master Mathis of Tarvas has accused my vassal, Lord Corrin, of having had an affair with his lover. Oh, dear. Right, uh, let's ignore that. That doesn't involve us. Enforce the demands. But we are victorious once more. Greetings, Lord Athos of Tarish. Your low character is the subject of mama shows. You are a much greater foe than I imagined. In order to put an end to his bloodshed, I will comply with your demands. I think they finally fixed this. Usually it would say the subject of Greek plays, but they, they changed it to mama shows. Nice. I noticed it. That's a good change. That's a good change. Okay, so we have increased this, which means we can now usurp the Duchy of Castamir. 250 gold. Let us do this. And we have Castamir. Lads. It has been a long time coming. We cannot do it. Because I don't have Castamir. Damn it. My son has it. <laughs> oh, I might have to revoke the title. Because it would be such a shame. If this character. Like this character has put in so much work. He built up this from nothing. I really didn't want to revoke title from my son. Can I even revoke title? I can't even revoke title? What? What? I, you, you just cannot do anything with these guys. I can claim title. Again, unpress claim on the Rune of Castamir. Um, It costs 150 renown though. I don't want to be spending renown. Okay, we might just have to wait until the next generation to do this. But let it be known that Lord Athos, the Prince of Fashion, he was the man that put in a lot of work. It is because of him we are in this position, but he is not done yet. But he has ambitions of taking the Golden Tooth as well. But before that, uh, let's fix the rest of our prison. <laughs> uh, 10 gold for you. Okay, there we go. That's fine. Uh, and I think Petition Leech, no. We got a new, we got Sarsfield down here. I might give that to my friend, Rolf. He can hold another title. Let's give him... Let's give him this. I think he deserves more land. He's been very loyal to us. Uh, and we're increasing control here. Right. It is time to declare more wars. With the Golden Tooth. They have 700 crossbowmen and 500 rainbringers. We might need to call on reinforcements this time, lads. I think the Arbor will be more than willing to join us. The loyalty, the alliance runs deep. We have much respect for each other. Let us raise the men once more. Uh, I will be commanding them, of course. We also need to start fabricating again. Uh, I guess we're going to go for the Dens Lane next. <laughs> it, it, it's just like uh, uh, we can basically pick anything until we get to the Lannisters. We're not over duchy limit either. Is there a way I can see my duchy limit? I, I'm not sure if I can see my duchy limit every, anywhere. Um... Yeah, I have no idea. There's, I can see vassal limit somewhere, but I forget where to see that as well. No idea, no idea. It's not in here, is it? Um, if I go vassals, I don't. Oh, vassal limit is sixty, but it doesn't tell me my my duchy limit. Okay, so we're just gonna have to roll with it, and hopefully we don't pass it. Right, twenty five days to raise them. That's not taking too long. Faction disbanded. The fort for Athos, of course. I should join you in this war. Our foes shall learn to fear the men of the other. Excellent stuff. Excellent stuff. I look forward to fighting with you, my friend. And fight together we shall. 
Uh, the enemy's already coming. The arbor should arrive pretty soon. We might be able to fend them off. I don't know. We don't have many men at arms compared to them. Uh, another steward per popular figurehead. Guys, we might actually get the architect trait at this rate. Oh, my health is poor and ailing now, though. Oh, we're finally nearing it. But not before we pull in a good fight. We will expand. It says we will probably win. Aha! Now we would definitely win with the arbor on our side. Let us chase them down. <laughs> oh, they got away, but they're going to stand a fight here, so that's fine. Oh, look at this. The Battle of Goldburn. There's no way they can defend against this. The Golden Tooth will be mine as well. There's a lot of excommunication, so we might be able to get a claim um, from the, the High Septon. Which would be very useful. Let's take this. I think that's their capital, actually. Uh, so we might get a lucky prisoner. Oh, no, the way. Uh, that's Ashmark. Okay, that's Ashmark. Let's go for this one, then. The Arbor can siege this one for us. There we go. We're going fast. How fast do they siege? 40 days. My friend, look. I can also siege fast now. I have taken a lesson from you. Yeah. 1400 versus 1300. It wasn't as one-sided as I thought, actually. Uh, it was quite even. I mean, we had the numbers advantage, which is why we won. But this is going to be an easy siege for sure. I remember the day when my daughter Amada was born to my Duchess Elaine, my implacable daughter. Memories like these bring me comfort no matter what happens. I know that my family is there for me and that House of Victory stands strong. All reigns end, I whisper under my breath. I will treasure the fort. I am very blessed. I have many, many daughters and sons, all of which have turned into decent people. And already the war is ours. Another victory on this fine day. Greetings, my liege. Your wisdom and mercy are legendary. You are a much greater foe than I imagined. In order to put an end to his bloodshed, I will comply with demand. So be it. Look at this. This is insane. We are still not over the duchy limit either. Let's uh, send off the ransom. Um, We are still within our limits. Okay, that's good. Uh, we need to check the prisoner, but let's wait for the ransom to go through first. So we know what we're working with. Uh, we got factions against us, but I don't think we need to be scared about them. Let's see. Any gold here? Okay, no. Uh, anybody do this? It's just for hooks, right? Yeah, we don't want hooks. I want gold. 27 gold income. Oh, wow. Um, and we're fabricating here. That's almost done. So let's wait for this to complete. We're only on four times speed, and it looks like we're on five times speed. Insane. The fort for Athos. I proud for documents both ancient and of less certain provenance. I finally have enough material to make the case. We draw a rightful lord of the Lordship of Raddle. See it done. We must expand ever more. Do I have any truces? I think I have a lot of truces, right? Um, let's see. I still have a truce with Rivermore. I still have a truce with Crag as well. So we're not going that way. We might even be able to go for the Iron Island soon. Uh, we could go for Hornvale. Although I think, let's see, if I go for Hornvale. Oh no, we do get green here. Okay, it's only going to take eight months. Insane. Um, also, I noticed we have a crap ton of new artifacts. Ancient black. We don't need this. Oh no, only one. Okay. Um, well, I also want to check. The High Lordship of Strongstone. Oh, that's in the veil. Okay, what about the Golden Fields? That's in the Reach, right? Yeah, that's in the Reach. Okay, I don't want to be going to Reach with these guys. Uh, reach? Going to war with these guys yet. But who I will go to war with is the Dens Lane. I am coming for you, lad. They have... We can fight this one alone. They do not have many men. We have 56,000 allies. We could go for the Iron Islands. Hmm... An invasion of the Iron Islands would be very nice. Let's see. Do they have allies? They have allies, but not many. Do you know what? Um, let's see. Let's see. I might do this. Let's try and fabricate claim. But I want house drum, right? Because I really, really want red rain. So if we're lucky, we might be able to take the artifact in a siege. So I'm actually going to change it to over here. It's going to take 12 months. So it's it takes longer, but that's nothing. Like 12 months is nothing. We probably won't even finish this war in 12 months. Um, let's move you over here. Supply limit 14,000. That's more than enough. Uh, we'll go this side of the river so we don't have to cross it. And let's raise the men. This is going to be another very quick war, lads. Oh, I love it. Oh, this is such a fun. We, we took so long to build up our strength. And now it's, we are reaping the rewards of our labor. 
At the end of my spymaster Godric's latest report, he pauses for a moment. There was something you should know about your lover. It seems Raylon has some very unusual sexual pro proclivities. Proclivities. <gasps> he is a sodomite. Oh. Um, <laughs> as if I did not know it to be true. <laughs> oh, but no one else knows of my lover's secret, do they? Um, right, you guys, you think you can siege my lands? I will not be standing for this. Let us fight them back. Beat them back. I can pardon my vassal. We're not, uh, they're not important to me, though. So we don't have to do that. Oh, look at this. 30 advantage. Oh, it's an absolute slaughter. That's what it is there. 200 to 3,000. Absolute slaughter. Uh, 30 gold. Or I can banish you instead. Um, in that case, I'm going to banish you instead. Because then I get much more gold. Oh, it's not going to work. Right. Let's wait until the war ends, then. Uh, and we're going to go and siege some of their lands down. <laughs> oh, oh, this game is so good. When you take all this time and effort to build things up, it, it's really nice to just reap the rewards, you know. It's so fun. Let's go for Long Rock next. We'll get closer to their capital. I have a feeling the war is going to be over very soon. Now that we have all the trebuchets as well. It's beautiful. I am enjoying this. This is one of the best characters I've ever played. Uh, we're going to wipe out their army once more as well. <laughs> they can't do anything. 41 for 500. Uh, it's going to take three months to siege their capital, though. Fort level 16, and it only takes three months is actually insane. Uh, Bravosi puppeteers arrived at my court. My steward, having heard of his talent among the local small folk, decided to invite him to pull on the show for my household. I look forward to seeing the show, although I am leading my armies. The puppet show was disturbing. The pu puppeteer put on several performances for the audience. One of the comical ones, however, felt like they were mockery myself. And how's Vickery? <gasps> I hope he doesn't mock me like this in front of the peasantry. Otherwise, we're going to have to teach him a lesson. Teach him a lesson, I will. My friend has died. He died in his sleep. My prisoner, Lord Roland, has escaped. <gasps> Hershey Roland. How did you manage that? Ah, sneaky boy, sneaky boy. We got windmills. And we have shooting ranges now. Right. Uh, Boronlin, if I upgrade the windmills, another 0. 0.2 gold. Let's do that. And then in strong bore, I guess we upgrade the aperies. Uh, it's getting expensive now, but uh, it's helping the gold income a lot. So I think it's worth it. How long left on this? 14 days, two weeks, lads. We're still earning 20 gold. And there is the victory. Our territory expands. We now have Farron's Keep. Uh, who should I give this to? Connor Chancewell. I will give you this land. You will rule it to my stead. Um, oh, I forgot. I can also change his contract, right? Uh, let's see. Modify contract. If we do like this. And I think I gave land to someone down in Dorm. We can change your contract uh, as well. Let's do this. In fact, it said I can blackmail him. If I blackmail him, I get a hook. And then I can change the contract for free. Let us do this. Here we go. Hook gained. So now I can change his contract for free. There we go. We don't really need levies, but uh, a free contract changes a free contract chain. Plus 29 gold. Jeez. Are we still improving control? We are. This is very good. 60 days and then we got a claim on the Iron Islands as well. Uh, right, let's organize the prisoner, shall we? 17 of the buggers. Right, 17. You have no gold here. But I can ransom you for 25. So let's do that. You have 5 gold. Uh, I'm going to banish the fray boy. Oh, dear. Mm, he loses opinion on me, but no other frays do. Why is that? I won't ask questions. I'll allow it. Uh, you have 15 gold. I will banish you to the wall as well. We will banish everyone. You can't be ransomed, so banished it shall be. Oh, this is amazing. No gold here. Can you be ransomed? Well, 10 gold. Very nice, very nice. Uh, no gold for you, but you can be ransomed for a hook. Now, get out of here. Get out of here. 146 gold. Will not accept. Minus 125. Ah, because he's an outsider, right? So, unfortunately, I have to ransom him for the 30 gold. That's fine. Maybe I could have killed him. Uh, you will be banished. Oh, look at this. We're, we are printing the money. Ha, 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 ha. Oh, I love this game. Oh, I've said this so many times today already, but uh, I, I really do. I think none of you 
Let's use escape, it's much better. Uh, much quicker. None of you can be ransomed, right? No, right. Uh, and Edric? No, okay. Let us wait for all of these to come through. And soon, we will hopefully have a claim on the Iron Islands. There we go, look at all these guys. They're joining the Night's Watch. I am doing my duty to the realm by giving them able defenders to protect us all from the winter. My niece Lasanne has been showing the signs of pregnancy for some time now and everyone thought that the husband Willem was the father of the child. Now it has become clear that the real father to be is none other than Lord Dono. <gasps> oh dear. Oh, what a scandal. Now everyone knows. Oh dear. There's a little bit of chaos brewing. We have a sullied blade. Well, we lose prowess though. I don't want this. Small religious carving. Eh, we don't need piety. We don't need piety. The gods already look favorably upon me. 30 gold for a moment there. Insane. My lord, Officer Aaron, as he march, she marches up to me, hauling my daughter Ellen by her ear. This stratted child has been lying and waiting around corners, wearing a wolf skin for a costume, only to jump out screaming and scaring the living daylights out of people. Oh no. Ooh. This is actually quite funny, Arwen. Arwen is my courtsmith, though. Ellen, you will need to be punished. I must teach you some discipline, my daughter. An influx of serfs have arrived in the Lordship of Borneling from the neighboring Lordship of Midvale. They claim to be fleeing from the abusive rule of my son, Lord Dagon, and that they wish to live in my domain instead of his. Legally speaking, they are still in bondage to Dagon, but if I let them settle in my lands, it would almost be almost impossible for him to prove that they are actually his serfs. I will... Hmm. Uh, let's see. Extra serfs, more taxes. I will show my serfs to their new farm. Son, if you cannot look after your people, then that is on you. Uh, 10 gold. Yes, I will accept. I have a lot of prisoners to make money from. Oh, come on. Please give me... Oh, we got a new septon. Does he endorse me? Plus 94. He endorses me. Very nice. Greetings, my thoughtful liege. I know you have resettled my serfs in your lands. Why would you do that to your own vassal? Have I not been dutiful in paying the taxes you are owed? With no serfs to work my fields, I cannot grow any crops. You might as well have just stolen the land itself. This is an offense. I will not soon forget. Oh... <gasps> Grumble what you want. It does not change anything, my son. You mistreated your people. And now you are faced the consequences. Ten gold. I will accept. Thank you very much. My son is teaching a very, very valuable lesson here. In responsibility. And taking accountability for his actions. Over 30 income. Oh, I'm excited. Um, Have we already got this? Soon. Okay. A secret truth has reached the light today. My vassal Lord Clemens has had an affair. Oh, bloody hell. How long is left on Castamere? Um, two years we're getting close lads we're getting close <laughs> task finished increase control right we're gonna increase control now as well um there's a lot of targets actually let's increase my the, the lands over here first come on give me a good claim give me a good claim this is gonna be a mighty war for the fought for Athos, i have proud for documents both ancient and of less certain prominence i finally have enough material to make the case we draw the rightful lord of the Lordship of Bleachbone. See it done. I am coming to take back my sword, Red Rain. It belongs to us. Lord Tywin is hosting a hunt. We will not join this. To declare this war, it's going to be a big war. Can we even declare it? Wait, I can't declare it. We have a claim. Um, declare war on you for the claim of the Lordship of Bleachbone. I can declare it. They only have 10,000 men and they're in debt. Do they not have allies? They do have allies. The Lonely Light. Isn't that the... <laughs> the Great Joys are at an all-time low. <laughs> it is time for the biggest war that we have done yet. Ready the boats. Raise the banners. Call on the allies. I am sure that the Arbor will want a part in this, so let us call on them. I think we will also call on the Vale. They're in a war. Let's not call on the Vale. Fair enough. Let's see. I will call on... Hmm. Lord Lowell. House Valerian. Let us call them to war. We got Lord Mark of Full Harvest. House Merryweather. We will call them to war as well. House Karen will also join us. And then lastly, House Oramund. 
This is gonna be a very big war. A very big effort. Let us raise the men at Victory House. Of course, I will be commanding them in this. And we instantly need to embark. Oh, okay. I thought it was gonna cost us free then. Uh, everyone is joining us. Oh, this is gonna be beautiful. Uh, let's go back to photon speed. I was just scared in case I accidentally unpaused. So we look at this. 10,000 versus 31,000. As Valerian are already linking up with us. I don't know where they're going, actually. Uh, they're going the long way around the mountains, right? Oh boy, if we get red rain now. This is going to be beautiful. The Greyjoys have left. I could go straight to Bleach Blown. Be, uh, Bleach Bone. And hopefully we can siege red rain. Uh, capture red rain. Hopefully my allies will be here soon. And it should be a quick siege. So I think we should be fine here. Three months. Okay, that's actually quite a long siege. 16 fort level. That's quite uh, heavy. <gasps> my friend. Lord Horace has died. Of old age. And now his son. Lord Ronald of the Arbor. Is honoring the alliance. And fighting the Greyjoys with me. Lord Ronald. Let us honor. This very fruitful alliance. Together we will stay strong. There's his armies. It is nice to see that the reinforcements are still with us. One of our biggest friends and allies has finally died. My prisoner has died in my dungeon. Garen! Hey, Garen! Uh, if you're watching this, <laughs> that's a funny uh, coincidence. <laughs> Seven days left on the siege. Come on, give me red rain. Ah, we didn't get it. Ah, we didn't get it. Oh, we captured a great joy, though. Ah, damn it. Uh, we could still, if we siege this, we still have a chance, right? Maybe we can take a prisoner. Uh, you finished increasing control. In that case, uh, let's keep on increasing the control. We'll work on the yellow areas because they're a bit quicker. I need a new Castellan as well, aren't they? Right. Let's get any powerful vassals. Lord Humphrey, my vassal and friend, you will become my new Castellan. Give me more taxes, lad. We need the taxes. How long to take this? 30 days. Okay, this one's much easier. Uh, the Arbor have come as well. Uh, are we under siege? I don't know where the Greyjoys are. Uh, we got more allies arriving here. The Greyjoys, are they fighting two wars? They're actually fighting two wars. Oh, we have caused a lot of chaos in the Iron Islands. As I retreat to my chambers for the night, I stumble upon one of my guests, Martin, in the innermost sanctum. How did he get in there? Uh, it's not what it looks like, my lord. The fact that he is half naked and in the process of bodily defiling my ceremonial sword tells me that it is in fact exactly... <gasps> what? Oh. Pull him in the dungeon. He defiled my sword. That's not good enough. I can kill him. I will behead him. How dare you defile my sword. Right, come on, please. Capture the guy who has red rain or take red rain. Ah, prisoners take him another way. Grandson slain in battle. Join the battle of Rosedale. Oh, where's Rosedale? Oh, you're fighting down in the reach. Oh, bloody hell. You're huge. You're huge. We have a, a children, a giants now. Yeah, and our ancestors. Right, let's ransom you. Right, unfortunately, we didn't get red rain, but I guess we can carry on sieging. Um, all of our allies are here now. I'm not sure where the Greyjoys are, but they're getting absolutely destroyed. Do they even have men? They have 9,000 men somewhere. They must be sieging one of my lands. My my holdings aren't under siege, though. So as long as my holdings aren't under siege, I guess it's fine. Lord Fenton has been actively supporting Lady Melisa and her faction to install Lady Melisa of the Golden Tooth on the Golden Tooth throne. However, my wife has a plan to change that. Trust me, the things I could tell Lord Fenton would make him disavow Melissa in an instant. Oh. Yes, let's do that. Make sure Fenton never supports her again. And we get another stewardship perk. We have divided attention. Domain limit plus one. Very nice. Uh, ask her the faith for claims. No, let's not do this. How long in this siege? 40 days. <gasps> A moment of silence. He roared for 54 years. He took control at 14 years of age. Lord Athos might just very be the best character I have ever played. Lord Athos Tarich has given up the ghost at 68 years of age. He died of old age. Sieging in the Iron Islands. 
A keen and dedicated hunter, he loved to spend entire weeks in the wilderness looking for the most elusive game. Lord Lyman ascends to the throne. A formidable duelist, many expect him to excel in tournaments and personal combat alike. It is time we said goodbye to Lord Athos. Look at that, the traits he had. Let us continue. Pause the game. We have a lot of stuff to do. He was a dutiful captain, a hunter, an aspiring blade master. He was gallant, an overseer, a gardener, a logistician, a military engineer, a rough terrain expert. He was reckless, a skilled fighter, an experienced traveler, a poet, a hastaluda, and a knight. He did much for House Vickery, but more importantly, he did much for House Rain, which now his son, us, Lord Lyman, the Hawk of Tarish, I will continue my father's legacy and his father's before him. We are brave, we are deceitful, gregarious and vengeful. I'm a skilled tactician, a strategist, scarred, and a skilled fighter. 23 prowess, 18 martial. Definitely, without a doubt, we are going to go for the martial skill tree. Let us go for chivalry focus. So I have a feeling I might be leading the armies. Let us equip. We have some stuff here. Lucky rabbit's paw. Uh, let's see. We can get rid of the ancient plaque, probably. We don't need this. Let's get the lucky rabbit's paw and we can destroy this. We still have a lot of our gold. Our income is very low. For some reason. Very low. But that might fix itself. We have a new septon. Accolade has lost a rank. I can finally marry my wife. She's 38 though. So actually. I might have to break the betrothal. I know my father organized this in good faith. But I must find myself a better wife. Let's do that first actually. Here we go by alliance. Uh, we have the Tyrells here. They're a little bit young though. A little bit young. We can marry into the, the Martells as well. A little bit young. A little bit young. <sighs> well, it might be a good idea. Let's see. The Tyrell's 41,000. The Martell's 15,000. She's 12. She wouldn't come of age for another four years. Oh, that's rough. That's rough. Yes. Uh, let's see. If I, if I change this, we'll go adult. And then we'll sort by the strongest. So we can get an alliance. Oh, you're a little bit too old. What about these guys? 2,000. Maybe we don't need an alliance. Actually, no, we do. Uh, do I even have an alliance? We have the Valerians, not anymore. We might be in a bit of trouble, actually. I think we do need the alliance. I may have to wait and marry Desmera Tyrell. She is also defeat deceitful. Let us marry the Tyrells. Lord Willis is dying as well. He's still alive? Wow, Lord Willis and, and Athos, my father. Very, very great men. Lived a long time. Okay, what's this? Grand tournament. We're not going to do that. Grand tour. We're not going to do that. But we are going to do this one. House Rain traces its lineage back to the first men in the Age of Heroes. Building their seat of Castamere around a rich system of mines. But securing themselves great power in the Westerlands. House Rain met its downfall when Lord Roger Rain refused to pay his debt to rebel against House Lannister. The rebellion ended swiftly with the extinction of their dynasty. Perhaps it is time to bring back... This once great dynasty with myself at its head. Everyone will convert to House Rain. Let us do it. Let us do it. Do we get an event pop up or anything? I don't know. Uh, but let's let's wait. We need to sort out the council um, before we unpause or anything. Right. Uh, my vassal. Oh, people don't like me as much. We're not as liked as my father. Probably short reign opinion is paying a factor in that. Uh, let's see. You're going to be my spy master because at least you like me a little bit. Uh, and let's start swaying you, like, instantly. Um, I need you as well. My brother will serve as my admiral. And then I need a Castellan as well. You're my steward. I need a powerful vassal here. Are there any powerful vassals? Lord Humphrey, you will serve as my Castellan. Right, we are above the domain limit. That is true. Uh, we don't have a wife either to help with that. Let's unpin all of these. Um, I will pin my heir, which right now is my brother. So let's pin him so we can keep an eye on him. Um, we have all of this. The, the Cloaks of Castamere needs a successor. Gilroy will serve. I also need to restore... Oh, it's gone. The Crimson Cloaks have vanished. 
Right, so what does this give us? Yeah, skirmisher. Oh, we don't care about skirmishes though. I mean, what? Skirmishes? We don't have skirmishes. Oh, no, we get archer damage. Okay, archer damage, archer toughness. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, right, let us make uh, a new accolade. I think it was the, clo the Crimson Cloaks. Molos, my father's personal champion. Valiant and tactician. Yes, let us do this. And we will rename this to the Crimson Cloaks. The Crimson Cloaks. There we go. It's reinstated. So I have my core position sorted. We have a Maestro, Corsman, Fantacrate, and Personal Chairman. We keep those. Okay, that's good. Disabled buildings. Uh, that's fine. We can sort that out. We can negotiate some alliances. Uh, let's see. My brother. Let's get a brother alliance with the brother. I think that would be good. Um, my nephew. Yes, let's get an alliance with my nephew. What about Lord Olbert? I can get an alliance with him, right? Let's get that alliance then. I think that's my cousin there. Uh, her husband. Uh, and then if we zoom in, I want to be keeping Castamir 100%. Wait. Oh, no, that's not Castamir. <laughs> I've done that so many times. Why can't I restore ruins now? The button was never there. Wait, what? Why was there a button there and now the button isn't there, guys? Oh, it only shows when I'm not in control of it. So we oh, we have to wait for this. Okay. Um, Right, Boromore. We can give Boromore away to someone. Let's see. If we go Dynasty and we go Rain. Um, my nephew, if we sort by age. Yeah, my nephew, Mark Rain. You're going to have to have this, right? Let's give him this land then. Um, I can get an alliance with him as well. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Very fair, very fair. Um, oh, anything else we need to sell up? Yeah, succession is always crazy, especially this one. So much has changed. I need to get rid of another one as well. Probably strong ball, right? I don't have a son. I could give it to Dagon, my nephew. Okay, we're going to have to give this to my nephew as well. Um, And I'm going to have to get an alliance with him too. We might struggle getting alliances now. I mean, we'll have an alliance with the Tyrells. That's enough. That's enough. Right, let's unpause. The armies are over here. Who's leading them? Me, of course. I am brave like my father. I will carry on his legacy. And now we are the famous House Reign as well. Uh, court artifacts. Okay. Look at that. The new crest standing strongly. Let's continue the siege. We are fighting the Greyjoys. Alliance broken. With the Valerians. Betrothal was broke. To the Charming Lyman, I gladly accept your betrothal proposition. Willis lost an arm. Oh, bloody hell. At least we got an alliance with the Tyrells. In fact, we can even call them into the war. Let's do that, just in case we need help. Just in case. Okay, 20 days left on this. There were whispers about the tales and deeds of my father. Disgraced Lord Athos everywhere I go. Near or far, it seems there is nobody who has not heard his name. I wonder, will I always stay in the shadow of my father? Or will I be able to achieve as much fame in my life as him? How high will I be able to climb? <gasps> oh, let's see. Monthly prestige. One day, I will be like you, father. I have restored house reign like you planned. And now... I would take over the Westerlands and wipe out the Lannisters. I'm on with very request. Marvelous news. Right, let's continue. Oh, we're not on four times speed. That's what's happening. Um, oh, bloody hell. What's all of this? Um, alliance formed. Wetness vacated for some reason. Uh, allies. You want me to be your steward? I will accept that. I forgot that we have council rights. I will accept this. We're not earning many taxes. Um, let's see. I need to pick a successor as well. Oh, bloody hell. Let's see. Succession score. Uh, everyone's self-interested. Let's leave this for now. Marvelous news. I need a son, but it's going to be a few years before my, my betrothed comes of age. But there we go. They were The Tyrells have joined the war as well. <laughs> oh, what a chaotic start to my rule. We might be losing so much gold because of um, raised armies. Yeah, look. Minus 19 gold because of raised armies. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Uh, I might go to uh, here, but there's other Iron Islanders here. Let's take this. We will keep on sieging. But sadly, guys, I must leave it there. Like, let, let's siege. I don't want to end halfway through a siege, though. Let's do this. There we go. And that is unfortunately where I must leave it. Let me just double check the council. They're still doing the right tasks. They are. What a character. What a character, I must say. Athos, my father. 
One of the greatest men I have ever played. 54 years, he roared. And thanks to his efforts, he has revived House Rain. But that's it for today, guys. Thank you for watching as always. I will see you in the next one.